Welcome back. Today I want to talk about how companies lose their cultures. As I told you, my PhD research was to try and understand how companies or how people are so much more creative when they work in startups than when they work in mature companies. And essentially, I told you that I can boil it all down to one word, culture, specifically a culture of innovation. But how does it happen or what happens over time? If we start, if we look, look at the uh, red line in the chart, the red line shows that when a startup is born, it starts with a very high level of culture, a very innovative culture. They better be because otherwise they don't have an idea, they don't know how to start. I don't find that I can help a startup with building a culture of innovation. They already have it. However, as the company starts growing, the first thing that happens, you will see, is that they cross that viability line. The viability line is the point where the company starts making money and then making a profit and breaking even and starting to generate profit and gain market share. That line of viability is a line that has to be crossed. If a startup company doesn't cross that viability line, they're not going to be viable ever. That viability line typically helps raising later stage investments as well. As the company grows, and in growth, I look at this as maturity, the number of years, this number of employees in the company, the uh, revenue of the company, the company just gets bigger, more buildings, uh, maybe it becomes international. As it starts growing, you can see that the red line starts going down because we start losing the culture. Throughout those videos, I will explain what happens for the company, to the company, uh, when it starts losing its culture. However, it does lose it. And you can still fix it unless it gets to the point of no return. You can see that horizontal line, the line of no return, the point of no return. If a company goes below that line, that culture is now so low, there is so little innovation that the company is actually going to start shrinking. And why will it start shrinking? Because their products are not innovative, because competitors have better products, because the company cannot change, cannot adjust or adapt to the environment that's changing. And the company starts closing down and it starts getting smaller. It starts laying off employees. You've seen that happen. And it starts losing market share and losing revenue. And obviously, catching up with expenses takes time. So now we have expenses as if the company was generating a certain level of revenue, but the revenue is actually lower. So we're losing money. And we keep on losing money and losing money and losing money until, guess what? We cross that line of viability, but in the wrong direction. That's how you lose, that's how a company loses the culture of innovation.